If you're in the market for an RV, which RV manufacturer should you choose? Hmm. We are going to try to be very impartial. <laughs> and actually, we're not even really going to tell you which one to choose. We're going to go more like how to choose. How to choose. Yeah. And so first things first, there's a few things you really need to know about the RV industry and manufacturers before you even start the decision phase on which one to pick. Okay. So the first and biggest factor is these RVs are made by humans. Yes. And humans make mistakes. Yes. <laughs> and although all humans are created equal, <laughs> not everybody works at the same level. No. So, I mean, you could have somebody who's been working in the industry for 20 plus years, working right next to someone who's been working in the industry for a couple of weeks. Days. Yeah, so <laughs> the level of quality isn't gonna be as good if this guy's working on your RV building it versus this guy working on your RV and building it. That is true. Involved in the human factors also is, you know, people just have bad days sometimes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if I'm trying to get out of work early on a Friday, or my wife just left me, <laughs> or I just wrecked the car on the way to work that morning, or whatever the case may be, if I'm not focused on building an RV. Yeah, if your mind is elsewhere while you're yeah, installing a part. That could play a factor <laughs> in how good of a build quality you get. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Um, the second biggest component to RV manufacturers are they don't make the stuff. Yeah, well, I think I think on forums <laughs> there, there are some people who are angry about the parts. Yeah, certain parts, and it's not the builder's fault. Now you could say the builder chose to use those parts. Exactly. But I don't know how it is in the industry. But it's it's limited on where you can get your parts, so you may not have. They may not have very many options. Exactly. So, you know they're just putting it together yeah, yeah they're getting these parts from all over the place yeah. so air conditioners appliances awnings frames shocks tires Tire. yeah everything comes from, comes from a different place yeah and so yeah the manufacturer does have a choice in who they partner with and which parts to use but there's a trial and error on that too yes there is because if you go with one and it starts not working out then you switch so even even within the same manufacturer you could have RVs with different, different kinds parts. of parts because That's they've true. switched in which parts they use. And, and it circles back because whoever made that part could have been having a bad day and that's why That's it's a, true it's too. A faulty part. So you gotta go back to those factories, <laughs> the factory that builds the air conditioner. This guy might not be working in the industry that long. Okay. This guy is. So yeah. it's all it's all ties it, together. It, it is, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff going on, man. Yeah, you have to be somewhat understanding yeah and especially in in these times with with covid and you know low un, or high unemployment rates and things like that you're you might be limited the manufacturer might be limited into which companies that they even can partner can, with because some true. some uh, companies can't even get parts to get air conditioners out to get yeah. frames out to get whatever out so then that rv manufacturer says well if i want to get any rvs out i got to go with this other guy and use his maybe substandard parts or, or to, get, to get RVs pushed off the line yeah. or else my RVs are just sitting here and I'm not selling anything. And they're losing money every day they sit there. Exactly. So there's just, just so much. A lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the third biggest thing, and a lot of people don't know this, yeah. is that manufacturers adapt in the middle of a production year. Yes. They'll change it up right in the middle of the dang year. And I year. believe ours was one of them. It was. So what happens is, it, this really doesn't happen in like the automobile industry and other things like that, but in the RV industry, if they find something that they can do better during the production year, they'll switch. They'll yeah. change the way they do it. Yeah. They might switch parts. Like I said, if there's a shortage, they might switch manufacturers of different parts that they're getting it from. Yeah. In the middle of a production year. Yeah. And I've seen companies even go as drastic as changing color schemes and floor yeah. plans on the same, same model, model of RV during the same production mm -hmm. year. Yeah. So the 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 same one that you guys sit in here that's the same make same model same year it could be really it different could, it could be drastic <laughs> <laughs> so you don't really know until you get your eyes on it yeah so you could get and and all these re all these things come together and build either a really good rv or maybe <laughs> a really bad rv or and that's why rvs 
always have some little things go wrong because how many people had a hand in putting all these parts building these parts and then and constructing, constructing it, it. yes yeah. yeah, so many different people touching this that there's no way everybody got it right true there's no way that's true somebody did something wrong yeah and it's gonna break and that is where you you start talking about customer service yes absolutely because something's gonna go wrong in any rv you get yeah so but how it's handled exactly makes the world a difference so for us customer service is king yeah it's kind of a big deal especially i think if you're if you have more invested in it and when i say that i mean you're full timing in it exactly. as opposed to we go out once a month yeah during the season yeah you know or whatever i think that weighs heavy because if you live in it you can't afford to just drop it off exactly and wait weeks and months for something to get fixed and give yeah. it back and so you could get one rv now you go to the dealership and you see two rvs that are exactly the same may have come from two one people one person could buy this and have no issues at all yeah and the person that buys the one next to it could have so many issues and just be just like done with that manufacturer because they're just like it's junk everything's falling apart yeah. and that's the part where you know what i said a lot of them not everybody's going to get it right a couple things are going to break well on some of these rvs a lot of people got it wrong yeah on their part that yeah and so a lot of stuff breaks and then it gets really yeah. frustrating and then the consumer goes the manufacturer's crap well yeah. jayco and keystone and and you know Forest, and River, Forest, River, they didn't it. build the parts yeah so that's where you go back to customer service yes and that's why it's such a big deal because even though they didn't build all this stuff they chose to get into the rv industry and they chose to sell this product. They chose to go with those vendors and put those together. So they need to stand behind their product. Yes. And some RV manufacturers do. Some are very good at it. And some are not, not good at it at all. all. Yeah. The only information you're getting is what the manufacturer puts on their website. Yes. So that's really all you got. You can go to RV shows. You can go to dealerships. You can take to Facebook and YouTube. The forums. And forums and things like that. But you have to kind of take what you get on those platforms with a grain of salt. Yes, you do. Because once somebody's had a bad experience, they yeah. love to just blast that out, how horrible something was. Yeah. But then, usually, if you stay on the forum long enough, you'll find somebody who will blast <laughs> back yeah. how opposite of an experience they had with it so. yeah and if if you get on any of these forums i don't care what make model manufacture you get on it if you're looking for good news you can find it yeah if you're looking for bad news you can find it yeah uh, there's always going to be somebody who loves it there's always going to be someone who hates it so i would definitely uh we used youtube as a tool we used facebook as a tool when we were looking for rvs and, and manufacturers and looked at forums yeah um i will say though that you need to go and get into the rvs physically get into them walk through them because open every drawer yeah look under things so you get on youtube everything looks nice on youtube oh yeah it's like hotel reviews hey, hotel review you're like this is a nice hotel and you pull up you're like someone was murdered here last night <laughs> yes. so you know you can only yeah. take youtube so seriously you have to get into it physically yeah. touch everything feel how it feels you can't see and feel quality on a video sure so I would say the first thing you need to do is, you know, do your do your research on what type of an RV that you want and narrow that down first cuz that's going to eliminate a lot of manufacturers for you. Yeah, like what are you needing out of this RV? Well, yeah, if you're going to go, you know, class A, class C, you know, super C, fifth wheel, you know, once you make that determination, um, you can kind of eliminate some of those. It. You know, yeah. Tiffin's not making fifth wheels. <laughs> yeah. Alliance isn't making class A's or yeah. travel trailers. So it eliminates a lot. And then you can kind of narrow down your hunt or mm -hmm. your search once you figure out what you're gonna do. And I personally like finding some of the forums that do have repetitive um, issues. Yeah. Usually similar, like the same thing through multiple people because then you can find out, well, how did the manufacturer come back with that? Like yeah. if they had 100 people having the same issue, how quick were they responding? responsive to fixing these issues in their production yeah and that is actually a good if they've tool. ignored the issue well i might rethink going with them yeah. because it gives me a sign that they're not very concerned yeah you know one of the big things that we see on on the forums are people 
get mad at the manufacturers and kind of give the manufacturers a bad rap because yeah. of dealers. Yes. And it is, it is frustrating when you're having issues with the dealer <laughs> and you want to vent it to the manufacturer because you're, and, and, and I see it on both sides because the manufacturers are picking the dealerships that they are, yeah. are allowing to sell their RVs. So it's like, are you looking at the reputations of these dealerships good enough when you're saying, yes, we're going to put our RVs in yeah. you know, their hands? Yeah. You got to weigh those two. Yeah, and I've seen people say, you can get upset and say, look, I, you know, it's four months to get into my dealer. So they'll get mad and they'll blast the, the manufacturer, manufacturer on the forum and say, hey, Jayco, <laughs> I can't get into Camp World for four months. Jayco's like, I have I, nothing to do with that. Yeah. You know, it's exactly. not my, I don't know what to do for you. <laughs> yes, I did see that a yeah. lot on forums. <laughs> like, we're happy to honor our warranty, but I can't control Camping yeah. World. Yeah. You know, I can't control RV1, you know, or Lazy yeah. Days. Yeah. I have no control so, over them. Yeah, yeah, it's not fair yeah. to beat up the manufacturer for a dealership and, problem. And I give this advice to people all the time when I say, if you can, if you have an issue, and if you can avoid taking your RV to a dealer, Mm -hmm. for the fix then do that absolutely if your warranty is covered by you know joe's rv repair mm -hmm. you know joe's probably been doing it for years he probably has a lot of knowledge and he probably doesn't have a long wait time yes and so if your warranty covers it to take it to joe or bob's or whatever local then do that yeah but don't put your name on a waiting list you know for a clogged black tank at Camping World for four months <laughs> and then get mad because you're waiting for four months. Yeah. Because these big RV uh, dealers, they are not in the business of fixing RVs. No. They're, they're in the business of selling. selling RVs. Yeah. So their priority is not fixing RVs and the turnover rate on these um, mechanics for RVs is so high. It is. And they're short staffed and yeah. they're overworked and underpaid. underpaid. So, yeah. you know, even if you do get it in and get it fixed, it might not even be fixed. <laughs> you might still get it back with issues. But anyway, this video is about RV manufacturers, but I, I get on a little, little soapbox there, yeah. but don't blame the manufacturer for what the dealer is doing. Yes, try try to keep those separate. Yeah, and so the last point that I'll say is, you know, it kind of goes along with that, is don't burn any bridges. Yes. We see that a lot mm -hmm. uh, on the forums. So a person will have a, a little issue, they'll blast the manufacturer on a forum mm -hmm. and then the likelihood of that manufacturer helping them kind of goes down i think yeah they're less yeah. inclined to so make you happy. and i'll give you an example so when we had the montana we had we had a couple of issues with the montana and um a lot of them i fixed myself yeah, and they I, were minor enough. i got on i did a video on how to fix it um didn't really blast montana didn't talk bad about them just no, said hey not look at all this wasn't done right i fixed it this is how you're supposed to do it and now it's good to go i didn't have to wait at the dealership i did some research fixed it myself did a video on it and actually we we had you know montana contact us back and say we appreciate you doing, they actually love the yeah, video we appreciate you doing the video we appreciate you showing what we did wrong we've changed the way we do it on the line and um we appreciate you didn't blast us on youtube exactly <laughs> yeah so it all works out yes and then when we had another issue come up they were more inclined down to help the road us. they were very happy to help us because they they knew yeah our demeanor with the issues so so i don't think that there's a clear uh answer when you ask which manufacturer should i buy from you know i think it's uh, i think it is really a crap shoot it is i hate saying that because like i said you can but get it, one right next to the is. same i mean it, when you break it down it really is a crap shoot yeah you could get a hundred people all in the same brand and have different stories mm -hmm. from all 100 people so i would say you know figure out what what appeals to you as far as color schemes as far as size floor plans layouts all the amenities that you want that check off most of your list yes. and then go get that rv and roll the dice but do the research on the uh, customer service side for sure yeah i think we didn't really consider that when we bought our first rv i think we were just naive yeah you know, we, we didn't did know we our didn't research know. we knew what we wanted we felt confident what we were going but yeah not everybody had the same customer service experience 
that we did with Keystone. And we were just researching RVs. We didn't do any research on customer service. No, and we I probably should have. Yes, but it, it, your first RV, it's all a learning experience. Yeah. Every aspect of it. So going into your second one, we definitely you did learn, and, <laughs> and you and trust your gut. Yeah, I don't think people trust their gut enough. Yeah, and you know RVs are not impulse buys, people. No. You got no, to research. It. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even if it takes you several months, several years, I mean, you got to get it right, or at least as close to right as you can get it. I think. Yeah, as close to your perfect as possible. Yeah, and then just hope that it works out. Yes. Get you a warranty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which are not the same through every dealership. They're either, not. So that plays a factor in yeah. some dealerships that you go with too, because. Yeah. They're not offering. Not every dealership across the country is giving the same kind of warranty. Yeah. We got a way better warranty oh, yeah. the second go around than we did the first go around. For sure. Yeah. So. Well, we hope that this video was more helpful than confusing. And we hope <laughs> that uh, if you're looking to buy an RV, we hope that you get out there and find the right one. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know if you're already in an RV, what make model you're in. If you like it, you love it, you hate it, all that stuff. Because uh, we'd like to go and look up what kind of models that you're in and then if you're out there just um searching for an rv you know put in a comment uh and tell us what kind of rv you're looking at what models makes you're looking at what manufacturers and if we know anything about it we'd be absolutely uh more than uh happy to help yeah like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road everything you need to know is down in the description of the video appreciate you watching happy shopping for rvs <laughs> and we'll see you next time bye, bye. <laughs>